This right here is a lack of masculinity. This is what the lack of masculine guidance for men has caused. These emotional little boys who go and decide to throw tantrums left and right. Oh, my girl didn't get what she wanted. And he goes and acts impulsive and aggressive towards people. It ended up costing his life. When you're a beta, you're dangerous. Not just to other people, but towards yourself. Because the beta kills. Hey guys, you know beat yourself up. This video topic will be about the one man who simped the wrong woman for a bag of chips. He ends up dying. I'll be getting to the video details what I think about it and what this foreshadows for the future of men and the dating dynamics that many women are in right now. The bad standards are set out and how bad it is to be a fucking simp. We reached like the three, uh, the one minute and thirty second mark, so I can swear now. Yeah, I bet you already saw all the news on this uh, little problem here. I got started Friday night while at work at the Blue Moon Bodega in Hamilton Heights. <laughs> this woman seen on surveillance video getting mad after she's denied a bag of chips because her EBT card is not working. Her boyfriend comes in, confronting Alba behind the register. Pushing the 61 year old. Point being, man and a woman go inside of a little store to buy something, and the woman decides that she doesn't want to pay for it, so she tells the guy that give it to me for free. The clerk owner, which is an old man, of course, refuses, as anyone would do, any logical common sense. Oh, what's wrong with you? Alba's attorney says the video speaks for itself and Alba stabbed 37-year-old Austin Simon in self-defense. When the men refused, the clerk owner refused to give her the bag of chips for her fat ass, her boyfriend shows up pissed off and decides to go behind the desk of the clerk where the clerk is. And don't forget guys, this is an old man. He's like, in, he's like in his 60s, maybe more. The man who comes up towards him, he's a young man. He's in his 20s and he goes and threatens and shoves the old man back What you're seeing right now is a man who is pussy whipped. It's a man who's overly aggressive now He's had a history of being overly aggressive, but who gives a fuck about his history? Who gives a fuck if you went to prison or not? Look at what you're seeing right now. Here is a young man Overly being he's being overly aggressive He's not being logical here, okay? Logical is you pay the fucking chips or you get the fuck out. It's that simple. You don't just give the man a bag of chips because he really wants it or the woman really wants it. You pay for it or get the fuck out. He goes behind the desk and then pushes and shoves and intimidates the old man standing up above him. Then the old man decides to pass by him trying to get out there and grabs a knife and shanks him. And the woman ended up apparently trying to shank the old man too. New photos of bodega worker Jose Alba showed the scars left behind from his confrontation turned deadly. So basically people were stabbing each other left and right. All this for a bag of fucking chips. Now I'm glad the owner did what he did. He stood up for himself. Who are at fault here? The woman, but most importantly, the man who reacted towards the woman not getting what she wanted. This is why sims are bad for you. This is why sims are bad for society. But society is, is raising these pathetic men. Masculinity has been calm, collected, cold, logical. Putting yourself and the well-being of everyone else around you first. And avoiding useless fucking altercations for no fucking reason. This right here is a lack of masculinity. This is what the lack of masculine guidance for men has caused. These emotional fucking little boys who go and decide to throw tantrums left and right. Oh, my girl didn't get what she wanted. And he goes and acts impulsive and aggressive towards people. It ended up costing his life. Now, people might be pissed off saying, oh, you should never kill someone for a bag of chips. You should never go and put your hands on someone for a bag of chips. You should never put your hands on someone at point final and then expect not to get something back in return. The old man defended himself. He had every right to. 
All of this could have been avoided, the man just had more self-respect and told his woman, hey, you don't have the money for it. I don't have the cash for it. Let's just get out and go somewhere else. Instead, no, he got aggressive. With the wrong man, he got aggressive over the wrong woman. Motherfucker better hope that bag of chips was worth it because he dies for it. And in the end, she doesn't even end up getting the bag of chips. Point being, this little fucking pussy goes and picks a fight for a bag of chips because his fat girlfriend couldn't fucking pay it. Is this what the era is now? Where you can pick fights like this because people don't want to pay for shit anymore because she's a woman? She has a pussy between her legs, therefore you gotta simp over her and risk your life? Last time I checked, the only time you're supposed to risk your damn life is when someone else's life is at risk. Her life wasn't at risk. In fact, if she didn't eat that bag of chips, she probably would have lived longer. And I don't give a damn if I'm being rude right now, okay? This isn't a debate. The woman and the man, they were wrong. They are in the wrong. They are the aggressors. They are the illogical ones who couldn't pay and decided to get aggressive over it. The old man protected his property. Society is raising men like that. Overly emotional, aggressive men who aren't logical and therefore put the, their selves in danger because of how they react towards how their woman reacts. I mean, you can tell in the clip that the boy is just a boy, an overly emotional, dumb boy who simped over the wrong woman. Now, I don't blame simps entirely for themselves. It's also part of the system that we live in. This whole called matrix of the sorts. It's most of society is just being brainwashed to being such stupid little shits. I'm gonna be honest. There is a lot of crap that goes on in society and how you should treat women, how you should not treat women, how women should think, how women should not think. But point B, the advice is given to men is such bad advice that shit like this happens. If he just stayed calm and collected and just walked out, he could have bought a bag of chips and some other store and accepted cards. Instead, he goes and picks a fight. Do you know how common this is? Where men go and freak out, get overly aggressive over a woman? You know, because the woman's cheating. You know, because the woman doesn't like him. She rejects him. Or he finds out someone did something to his girlfriend that she didn't like. I'm not talking about physical here. I'm talking about like an insult or something. How the man just freaks the fuck out and puts his hands on someone. Here's the thing, guys. You should only ever put your hands on someone when someone's life's in danger, for one. For two, you can get away with it. For three, it's justified by law and by common sense and morality. And also, you better hope, and not hope, you better do what you're gonna do. Knowing the risks and be prepared to go to jail and expecting that woman to be there. Because if you do something fucking stupid like what this guy did, let's say he got the bag of chips, let's say he beat the old man almost half to death, got a little bag of chips, gave it to his fat girlfriend, fucking ate her face out of it. Then after they did their whatever the fuck they do afterwards, and the cops came and arrested him, and he went to jail. That woman right there would not have been waiting for him in jail. She would not be coming to visit him every day or every week or once every month. She would find another guy in like a couple of days to a week, start fucking her, and forget about the guy who just went to jail for her bag of chips. So you are saying that the, the amount of levels of stupidity in this scenario baffles me. So I've got a hard time rapping on how stupid you can be. But then again, when I was a simp, when I was Paid us, fuck! I do stupid shit like that too. It's incredible how, how much a person can change, but also, it's also incredible how much of a man, how a dumbass a man can be over his emotions whenever it's towards his girlfriend. When you're a beta, you're dangerous. Not just to other people, but towards yourself, because the beta kills. When I mean kills, I mean he is willing to kill other men. He is willing to kill himself over how a woman feels. When you go to make the woman the, the rock of the relationship, or the mean doll be all, I mean, the justification. When you make a woman's and her feelings the justification to what you do in life, 
you make yourself the reaction towards the equation of chaos because women love drama women love chaos men love order that's why men love a calm house a feminine wife is waiting for being calm collected so women will always try to stir up shit and it's your job as a man to be the rock who calms down the situations and calms down her tides of fucking emotions the man's the rock the women are the waves okay you need to be a strong rock because one day from time to time you're gonna have those big tsunamis and those shit tests you gotta handle it you gotta not let it face you you gotta calm her down what happens when you're not a rock what happens when you are a man who is overly needy overly dependent on a relationship and overly emotional and doesn't know how to hold himself accountable and be mature in altercations. You get guys like this. You can debate with me all you want in the comment section how you should never kill somebody over a bag of chips. If you put your hands on somebody, you deserve whatever's coming after you. You deserve karma. That's what they call it. It's really just consequences for your actions. And I don't feel sad for the guy whatsoever. Nor I feel sad for the girl. And if I did feel sad about anybody, it'd be the guy who died, really, a tiny bit, for the fact that he gave his life away for a woman who didn't love him. Stuff like this happens a lot. Especially guys who get in relationships. And after the girl cheats on them with another guy as a fling or a cat or whatever, or like a, a sneaky link, and the guy freaks out, gets emotional, and tries to go on a revenge rampage, and he picks a fight and kills the other guy. A lot of guys went to jail because of you know, dating, competition, and cheating. A lot of guys, a lot of guys go to jail because the girls cheated on them, then girls go to jail because their boyfriend cheated on them. Because guys are, when a man's emotional, his automatic response is to. It's sad, but this is the automatic response society has Im embedded in men is to lash out, get aggressive, and go and put their hands on whenever man is causing the problems. The woman doesn't like the guy anymore. Instead of moving on or being angry at the woman, he goes and gets angry at the men who did nothing wrong. Imagine you're fucking this one chick, then you find out she has a boyfriend, and the boyfriend comes up at your place to want to beat your ass. It's like, dude, she doesn't like you anymore. I don't even know you. I didn't even know you existed. Yet you want to come after me? Why don't you piss off at the girl who doesn't want you, but is wasting your time? You've got to learn how to have self-respect, gentlemen. All right? Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on IG, yourself up.com. With that being said, take care. You feel some wisely. Do yourself out.